Earthbed. Good day, learners. Today we are going to talk about the law of large numbers in the shortest and simplest way we can. So, what is the law of large numbers? Before we define what it is, let's first have an example. The theoretical probability of getting ahead on tossing a coin is one half, or in percentage, is 50%. The theoretical probability of getting a three on rolling dice is 1 over 6 or in percentage is 16.67% and the theoretical probability of getting the king of hearts on a playing card is 1 over 52 or 1 1.92% now all of that is theoretical probability and when you do the actual attempt you may not get that exact numbers or result for 10 attempts you may get four heads and six tails on coin and that's 40 percent only one roll got you a three so that's 10 percent and no king of hearts on cards and that's zero percent some of you might say well it is what it is we are playing a game of chance so it's really hard to get expected probability well partly that is correct but what if I tell you there is a way where you can get closer to the expected values? Yes, there is. And that is where this law comes in. The law of large numbers. This law is named by Simeon de Nipusson and is discovered by Jacob Bernoulli in 1713. It states that as the number of trials increases, the actual probability approaches the theoretical probability. So going back to the example, we now understood that we can get closer to the theoretical values when we increase our attempts. So for 100 attempts or trials, we may get 44% on coins, 13% on dice, and 0.98% on card. And for 1000 attempts, we may get 46% on coins, 14.1% on dice and 1.04% on card and so on pretty amazing right so that's it this is earth pen learning has never been this easy for anyone anywhere have a nice day